Cheers and welcome my friends, I'm Honor Duck and we are playing Imperator Rome with the 1.2 Cicero patch as Athens. Welcome back! Now, we can actually have our leader um, stand down now. He can... Ooh, he cannot return the dictatorship. Interesting. <laughs> this is not good, actually. This is not good. I kind of want to... I want to get rid of him now, uh, you know? I mean, popularity goes down quite a bit. Um, I can reward his veterans. He has this army. I can remove him from the army. I mean, he's our ruler. Let's see how things go. I mean, I'm sure nothing bad will come of this. Uh, what I definitely want to do is push the decision to form the Panhellenic League. So... I think we're going to see this text again. During the days of the Argid domination of the League, um, Argid domination, the League of Corinth united all Greek cities in one league. The goal of this organization was always to control them and to deny them the independence that they are due. But the idea of a Panhellenic League has not died with the oppressive actions of the Argids and Antipatrids. It could also be the ultimate guarantor of Greek independence. Let us unite one and all and form a league to encompass all the free cities of Greece. Together we will become the dominant force of the Greek world, leaving the kingdoms of would-be successors or usurpers behind us. So, we do this, our citizens will be very happy. We get uh, population growth in Athens, uh, in Athens, commerce value increase, more civilization level and more citizen happiness. So, let's go. Uh, oh yeah, so we still we get the tax a second time. Now we're the Hellenic League, which means we basically encompass all Greece. Um, these guys joined us now. Uh, funnily enough, also the the areas joined us that were that were part of Egypt. So that's pretty cool. Um, this place is still this is part of Asia, but yeah. So basically, well, like united all all Greek lands, uh, which is pretty sweet. We now have almost two thousand pops. Macedon shed off its former self, five hundred and fifty six. Rome, yeah, we're like uh, in one, um, in, the, in the same league as Rome right about now. I mean, we don't have the same thing. Interestingly enough, like Rome is totally going for navy here. They full tilt uh, towards uh, naval supremacy. That's interesting. Um, did we get, oh, with 94. I just have to get like seven more territories. And we're actually going to be moving up from a regional power to a major power. That's kind of what I want. I don't want to be any bigger than that. Um, I don't want to be a great power. But being a regional power is actually quite nice. I'm actually not sure. Like, I've, I've reached my goal now. Um, it should be here in the achievements. Render onto Caesar. International relations. Medium. What? Hellenic League is a republic. Hellenic League culture. All are true. Currently 81 out of 83. Oh! Someone still holds parts of Greece. Ah, the achievement did not. Um, it does not include regions that are unsettled. And this part belongs to Phrygia. So we actually have to go to war against Phrygia one more time. Uh, yeah, sure. So, declare war. Oh, we actually also have a Castus Belly on Crete. These guys would reject, but I don't really necessarily need them. Yeah, we'll see. We'll, we'll go for peace for a little while. But I, I want that damn achievement. I want it. Oh, yeah, where Macedonia needs a governor. That's for sure. So... Let's put this guy in there. He's not super loyal, but he's somewhat loyal. Uh, let's actually make sure that we go cultural assimilation here. Um, oh, this is bad. Oh, so we got assimilation in every area except for Rodope. Um, or Rodope. I'm gonna change that. Loyalty. Yeah, we have to extend the dictatorship. No one's really happy that our, our leader guy, our dictator is uh, in power now. We can't really return the dictatorship. We have two more years, so... Ah, uh, I'll just have to live with this. I 
How much money are we making? 70? Okay, that's nice. And we also have some trade routes here in the capital. Um, are we having a food problem? No. We've got some vegetables. Do we have enough vegetables for the modifier? We do. We can get more silk from the Aegean Islands. I don't really need the integration speed, but um, the other stuff is nice. Monthly tyranny reduction. Uh, we have marble with one unit of marble, so if I get a second one, that's actually going to be the bonus right there. And then what else do we need the bonus of? Horses would be nice. Actually, we have camels. Yeah, right. I'm importing camels from Egypt <laughs> for reasons only known to me. Yeah, don't doubt it. Don't doubt it. That's what we want. I have a surplus of iron here. Um, earthen where we should have a surplus? Yeah, we have plenty. Um, fish. We don't need, yeah, no, we have a fish surplus. We have a livestock surplus. We have a grain surplus. Um, wine. Do we have wine? Yeah, we also have a wine surplus. We have an olive surplus. We could get dates. I guess. Dates are nice. Yeah, we have a lot more tax income now than I, than I thought we would have. Let's check the provinces real quick. So, the vast majority of our realm is in Hellas. Um, and then the others are sort of just um, additions to this. Although Achaia is actually kind of powerful. But, yeah. Uh, oh, they want to import fish from Hellas. Okay, sure. I mean, we have quite a bit, but... I want to. I want to get rid of this army. Uh, they want to import grain from Italia. I. I don't want them to take that grain. Um, because over here, what are we doing? Campania, Tirolope, Apata, Tirolope. What about? These guys are fine. These guys are fine. These guys are fine. These guys are fine, but could be better. So we'll actually get grain from Atolia. We're not going to earn a lot of money from this, so maybe it's better to actually export it. Nah, I'd like to have the manpower from here. That's going to be good. Uh, yeah, you can you can go. Thanks for your service. I guess. The question is where we go from now. Like, I want to become one of the major powers. And I do want to fulfill that Hellenic uh, League uh, achievement. Oh, what's happening over here? We're 342 of 376. So, like, 340,000 people live here. Uh, shall we check Rome? Shall we check Rome? Um... Oh, you only have 78 people there? Well, that is kind of disgustingly bad. <laughs> Carthage. Uh, I mean, Carthago actually has almost 200. That's that's kind of impressive. Alexandria, 173. Although, I mean, the Nile area, Nile Delta is still very, very rich. This place has 40. Um, what does Pella have? I mean, we plundered Pella quite a bit. Actually plundered that really, really hard. Hmm, what about Babylon, maybe? Uh, yeah, Babylon only has 80 pops. Um, Seleucia Megale, where is it? That's the capital. Oh uh, yeah, over here. Uh, 125. What's the capital of Moria like? Um, where's the capital? Can I see that somewhere? Moria doesn't doesn't say I think no it doesn't show it maybe we'd be able to see it on the map eh probably not I mean it should be somewhere around here around Delhi no okay I guess not it's fine it's fine so we still need to take that from free here yeah? Uh, they only have Knidos as their allies. Um, I could probably call in Thrace. 
Eh. So so, I guess. So so. I actually have about the same amount of pops now as free gear. Ooh. Corinthos now can gain a granary. Uh, sure, let's do it. What do you want? Wine from Laconia? Okay. And iron from Hellos. Ah, to Europa. Yeah, our vassal. I, I'll gladly give these guys some iron. It's definitely something that we need. Um, these guys want iron from the Aegean. Yes, sure. Yeah, you can have the livestock. That allows us to promote our pops faster. Wine from Achaea. Why not? Wine, not. <laughs> Get it? Okay, I, I apologize. That was really bad. <laughs> Toppling a tyrant. The practical, practically autocratic behavior of our Archon has the entire Senate in upheaval. Seditious talk is rife, but one voice stands out in the hushed conversations behind his back. Stratocletus, Stratoclet, an upstanding member of government with renowned Republican ideals, has declared that it is time to act. This amounts to treason, and we would be well within our right to clap him in irons, but the very Republic itself is at stake. <sighs> Okay, let this guy plot. Let's see what he can do. Hey. Like, listen, this is the second of a great amount, uh, of a great line of generals. Um, they've been really good for our country. Let's hope this guy actually gives up power peacefully. Mm, what I would like for this army is to have some... What about these camels? They do more damage to archers and chariots. Mm. They do additional damage to horse archers. I think we'll just take some light cavalry here for the flanking. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Something like that, eh? Just six. Maybe two more. Should be enough. And uh, let's have that army drill. Although we could try to make even more money by reducing the army balance, uh, but... Yeah, let's just do this. Let's make a hundred bucks a month. I was kind of thinking about... Moving some slaves over there. Oh, we have three, three routes now. Do we maybe want to move our capital here in Epirus? Shouldn't one of these be like the capital of Epirus? Uh, our loyalty is going down due to the extended dictatorship. What about this place? Yeah, loyalty is really going fast down over here. Mm. It's not good. We can move slaves really, really fast now. We're eight points above our limit here. Um, can Argos pull, pull people from, from Athens? Is that a thing? No. Corinth should be able to pull people from, from Athens. No, can't either. Shouldn't we be able to move them across that island? No. But they can pull them from Megara, right? So I, all I have to do really is get them to Megara. So, something like this. Now, Megara has a couple too many. Uh, yeah, we actually we can still pull more. So we still have no problems with the buildings. Yeah, okay, all this doesn't work. So we have to bring them to Corinthos. 
Still at 46. We can probably take more pops. Hey. Uh, no. Oh, up. Okay, so we're going to move them into Megalopolis. From Corinthos. this this is probably a bit stupid but okay let's just move these around so Sparta now have like 69 79 what I want to do is fill this with pops so, all those Hellenic Macedonians. Ah, I like the money required, okay. Just gotta wait for the timer to flip. Okay, so we got 42 here. We got a lot of slaves in this province. Uh, we got a farming settlement. So suddenly we're producing like seven units of grain. That's pretty nice. <laughs> so we're getting 80 units of food. We're gonna import um, grain from Laconia. These guys want olives from Epirus. That's that's also okay. Um, these guys really don't have a lot of food, so we'll actually take more grain from Laconia. Uh, how much grain do we have, actually? Grain producing places. We have one here and we have one down here. That's this is basically it. Okay, we've gotta be we gotta be a little bit careful in terms of how we dole out our grain reserves. Mm. Okay. Getting sixty here, getting eighteen here. So we could definitely do with like another trade route here in the capital. Now, the funny thing is we have a ton of building slots. Um, we don't really need all that many fortresses anymore. Like, we have a fortress in every city over here. So, we can probably get rid of a few of those. Like, just because they serve no real purpose. Um, here, what are we producing? Olives. So, let's get rid of this. Ah, oh, yeah, I have to wait for more money. Yeah, that's a lot of food. <laughs> we should probably do the same thing with our grain province over here. Where are we? Grain? Yeah, lamia. Yeah. So, Atelia doesn't really have any import in that regard. Mm. We're producing earthenware here. Yeah, we are. So that's not necessary. Stone could be nice. Hemp could be nice. Uh, what else do we not have here? Fish, maybe? Yeah, we don't really need it. Iron. Yeah, I don't want to lose the capital bonus. Okay, I want more olives. And grain from Laconia, so let's let's export this. That should have shifted the amount of population a little bit, yeah. Like, ideally, we'll have, like, a certain amount of people in Hellas. Uh, we're missing two researchers. I'm gonna put you in charge. I'm gonna put you in charge. Term of our guy should be up. Very soon. Can attempt to assassinate our own ruler. Like, we'll see if it actually gives up his power peacefully. Um, we have a developing trade hut in Zakynthos. Uh, yeah, let's get more, let's get more citizens. Zakynthos. 
This is Cathira. I think Sukentos is over here somewhere. Kukiria, Omphaloi. Where is Sukentos? Hmm. Could be one of the islands, maybe. Um. Aha! It's that island over there. What do we have currently? Uh, stone. Let's get some more slaves. Maybe I should have taken citizens, but it's alright. So yeah, getting rid of a, a bunch of these fortresses is probably a good idea. No! Seizure of power. Our renowned Archon has safeguarded our nation through some of our darkest times. Nonetheless, his recent refusal to return the eagerly granted dictatorial powers caused a great deal of concern amongst the Senate. Now it seems his aspirations of power have reached a new level. With the support of his faction, he has demanded that the Senate ratify a new law proclaiming him dictator in perpetuity. <sighs> Never. You no longer have an army, my man. I put someone else in charge. Hmm, we're not paying a lot for any of these. Yeah, I will probably just do some cleanup uh, in between episodes where I get rid of all those fortresses and everything, because, like, we don't really need all that many. Hmm. What do we want to do here? I mean, aggressive expansion down tick is actually quite nice. Uh, it should help us a little bit. Tax is also good. Let's get with the aggressive expansion here. And he'll, he just has to live with the fact that he's going to get removed from office. Bloodless coup. In a massive stroke of political maneuvering, Stratoclid Stratoclid has rallied an enormous amount of support against our Archon. As the Senate assembled this morning, he delivered an ultimatum. Removing Hippurides from power. As Stratocles heard these words, he immediately ordered the arrest of all rebellious senators. But it seems that Stratocles has also secured the support of the military. The only manner to decide now is what to do with Hippurides. <sighs> I don't want to kill him. That's maybe a little bit too much. He served the Republic. Clap him in irons. Populist faction is not in control. I mean, that's not amazing, but at this point, it's kind of understandable that the people want the populists in command. Our stability is incredibly low, so I'll actually push the stability up a little bit. Um, invest some points in that. It's really not good. Uh, how's the extended dictatorship? How long is that gonna stay? We're gonna have some some really rebellious provinces if that doesn't improve. Okay, well, well, we definitely shouldn't attack um, Frigia under these circumstances. So we have one big province. They're all Crete in here. I still want to settle this place. I need it under my control. <clears throat> so I, I need one place like this one where we can get rid of the fortress. some theaters and uh, I feel like I have to move some we mainly want Athenians here Rain from Laconia, that's fine. Um, so Eleutherna, we should be able to build this. Uh, just 
matters that we have a freeman. Yeah, we're able to colonize this now. Sweet. Okay. Ah, perfect. Good. Good. Actually, it doesn't really matter that we that we need more theaters here now. Um, but okay. So all we need now is this from Frigia, and we'll actually manage to reach our goal for the series. At least my goal for the series. Um, and I think we can just try to see how far we can actually push this whole thing. Um, wood would be nice. Marble is nice. States. If I have a surplus in the capital, I get 5% commerce income, which is uh, pretty powerful, actually, if you think about it. We're making a lot of money here with commerce. So that's what I'll do. I would love to have a couple more citizens here, actually. So I'm going to build another library. Oh, we actually built three libraries. Just to push the citizen citizen level higher here. We have a lot of civilization too in this place. Yeah, let's hold the games. Let's export that fish. It's gonna take us a while to get to 30 civility. Oh no. Uh, our leader now has the century. Uh, civic faction is in control. It's okay. Oh, the other guy died from the dysentery. Okay. Sure, guys. Showing up defenses in Chalkis. They've been feuding with their neighbors and now they built a fortress. Yeah, let's say no. We have 280,000 manpower now. How much do you have? 50,000. 100,000. Pathetic. Ooh, Talantia must have freed itself. Where's Talantia? Where are these guys? I didn't think they... Ah! They managed to migrate over here. Interesting. How did these manage to survive? They must have just been recently freed, I guess. Ah, uh, loyalty is still moving down. Uh, except for Laconia. So Laconia is already happy. The food is okay. Crete is also happier again. So that's good. But I'd, I'd love to have some stability here. We ended the Olympics. Maybe I should invest some more influence. Like, I really don't like the low stability that we currently have. Yeah, let's do it. Now, attacking Frigia actually gives us a chance to gain a lot more slaves just by plundering their lands. Um, oh, they're already fighting Egypt, so... Yeah, we're kind of going to kick someone who's already down. For some reason, the Seleucids seem to be allied with... Yeah, they're allied with Egypt. Sure, guys. Sure. <laughs> All right. I get it. <laughs> I mean, even though we now managed to become independent, we are still, the world is still not without threats, right? If, like, Rome decides to pounce on us or someone else. What I should probably do is make these guys into a vassal. I think that's what I should do. Just to be sure that they can do nothing against me in the future. Okay, so we're building some, some theaters here on this side. I mean, I could, I could probably just threaten Frigia with war. Uh, threaten war. Listen. Okay. They're not really interested. Potential strength. Hmm. So we're too weak for them. At least at the moment. They don't, they don't think that we could take them. Okay. I see how it is. I see how it is. Uh, we could probably, like, build another decently sized armor, uh, uh, army, right? So... Um, I'll just have one army in Sparta, one army in Athens. Let's get some grain from Laconia. Aren't we importing grain from, from Carthage? Kind of seems a bit weird to go back and forth, but... I guess you can't steer an economy efficiently. These guys suffered a lot in that war. That's for sure. Like, um... Okay, we're no longer importing fish. I don't think we need to import fish. We should probably 
pour some rain from Laconia? Ah, we can't. Ooh, we can get salt though from Bosporanum. That's gonna be helpful. We could we could um, pump 400 pops into Athens. Like population-wise, this is very very heavily populated. I love it. Let's merge these units. Let's do something to these pirates, eh? We can actually we can actually go hunt fleets, so that this fleet is gonna um, search for pirates. So how is this army? Twenty heavies, six uh, slingers, and eight horse. Okay, so. Okay, um, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, so, and we're gonna have like, at least we're gonna look somewhat uh, creepy here. Uh, I'd love to get the money, but I'm really not keen on the corruption influence. Isn't really working all that well right now. Because we're still too unstable to get this done. Can't put anyone in, in office. Ooh, Macedon! They've had <laughs> they've been beaten so hard that they now want to be our friend. <laughs> uh, listen, offer client status, current strength, potential strength, negative stability, war exhaustion. Hmm. Doesn't look like I can ever do a Diplo, Diplo thingy here with these guys. It's never gonna happen. That's okay. Build up our army. I don't want to let that manpower gain go to waste. Okay, so we have six uh, twenty-eight, and we have six twenty-eight over here. Um, you're loyal. None of these are very loyal. I actually don't like it at all. But I want to train them. So I don't want to give any of the populist faction. Command. Hmm. Okay, we'll just take this dude. We'll hope that he doesn't do too many bad things with this. Um, could give him some money. Is he still from a scorned family? He's commanding a lot of cohorts. We can bribe him, I guess. Yeah, listen. I have the bribe. Um, and then we're going to have this army drill as well. Does that change anything in terms of free gear being, being willing to give me that territory? Nope, it doesn't. Okay, so we'll actually have to fight for it. Like, it would be much easier for them to just give this up. Could save the whole war thing, but I guess they don't want it. So we're going to have to try it the hard way next time. For now, thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, then please leave a like. If you want to see more of the series, then please consider subscribing. I hope I see you in the next episode. Thanks. Bye-bye.